there's a clip about to come on you and it's going to make you feel sick here yeah? but I just got to show you just because you have technology and you live in the first world people can still be backwards check this clip out and check out how evil these people are Oh, yeah, Nick, you're burning people. Nick, watch out, you're going to fall over them. <laughs> okay. now, now, that would have been funny. Right, are you ready, Nick? Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you've got to stick it on top, Dad. It's really hot. That is so bad. Bye. Great. Yeah, 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 let's video it then, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will, mate. Stay in your flat. We are coming to get you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Dad, yeah. could you go and rob the bottom flats? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him look, hanging around, look at him hanging around. 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 Jump out the window! You're bright, don't worry, stay in your flex. Some people have got a really bad taste. Yeah, really bad taste. Oh, look, it's really going off. Four, five, six, seven of you. So bad, look, we're calling it. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, I think we're definitely not the winner. I heard that coming, the bottom. That's the end of the number four Guys, this is devastating, man. It's devastating. Like, literally, there's people jumping off buildings. Like, you're seeing bodies fall. Like, literally, you're seeing people jump out of the, off their building, man. Wow. First hand, I saw a baby, the a mother, I'm assuming, was at the window. Um, she was gesturing uh, with body language for somebody to catch her baby. She was about to throw the baby, which she did. She wrapped the baby in some sort of covering or blanket and she threw the baby. This was from the, about the ninth or tenth floor. And a, a gentleman who was standing beside me ran forward and grabbed the baby. And then her, her shadow disappeared back indoors. But every, you look to the left, you look to the right, you looked above her all around. To be honest, you could not believe your my eyes were, I was questioning whether I was, what I was seeing was really, you know, realistic. Rania Ibrahim, she's a 30-year-old mum of two, little girls, a three-year-old and a five-year-old. The husband has been away for six months. Um, it's extremely worrying for her. She said she'd had no information about which hospital she might be at. And extraordinarily, uh, Yaz showed me a Snapchat that Rania had sent at 2.54 a.m., from inside the burning building. This poor woman was speaking in Arabic. I said, what is she saying? And Yaz said, my friend, my best friend was praying and saying, forgive me, forgive me, and crying and very, very scared and saying, help me. And she was saying all this repeatedly in this Snapchat. Um, with, I think you can see the interview that I just did. She's saying that the whole building, and this is from the top, you can see she's trapped and and what's that saying she's, underneath she's praying and she's saying forgive me everyone goodbye oh my god <sighs> oh, okay you? don't, don't open the front door you're gonna bring the smoke in okay and you're not gonna be able to breathe your I'm children scared. maybe someone outside they're, they're in the other flat are you sure they're, they've gone into the into the other flat that was open. <laughs> listen you have your children okay. standing near the door the smoke is not going to help you okay yeah okay just where's this. your husband no, that's okay. No, this is good enough. There's too much smoke. You're not gonna feel. Okay. There's too much smoke here. Okay. Okay, I'm not opening it. Allah, la ilaha illallah. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-ali al-azim. Ya Allah. Quick, quick. Hello? Here, here, here. 
Come in, you gotta. No, no, because the smoke is coming. But the people down, the people outside. Yeah, let them. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm going out. Hello. Hello. Come here. Okay. Oh my God. I closed it. I close it. Allah. Someone outside. Okay, I'm not going. Okay. Okay. But can you have? العمارة ولعت من تحت لا إله إلا الله. العمارة كلها ولعت من فوق لتحت. إحنا في آخر دور آخر دور هو اللي لسه ما ولعش يا ربنا يستر إن شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين كل الناس اللي لحقت تلحق يعني لحقوا وجريوا شايفين الدخانة في السماء مفيش الله ايوه عند الجامع العمارة ولا عتيسة هاي اللي تحت من الدور التالي مغيسة اغسنا هاي مغيسة اغسنا هاي مغيسة اغسنا هاي مغيسة اغسنا مكان في لندن فين الله Hello. Yalla, da'unna la ilaha illa Allah. Da'unna bi satr, insha Allah. Rabbi na yahfazna bhifz. Ya Rab, Ya Rab, Ya Allah. Da'watkum Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Close these windows because the smoke can go to the other. Yeah, I'll pick with Jeff, you're not the winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that coming, the quad's going. Too late. You need more than one. Got a little ninja's getting it at the minute. Oh, yeah, Shelly got going. Oh, yeah, we got Shelly going. Oh, yeah, get going. Oh, steady on. Oh, 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 How do people yeah make fun after the fact after this has happened? They've watched the news, they've seen the footage. Like people in a building, there's there's babies in there, there's kids in there, there's women in there, men in there. They're in a building that they can't escape, and they're watching their their death in slow motion. They can't jump out because the building is too high, yeah, and they can't go down the stairs because the smoke is too thick and it suffocates them. How do you see that, yeah, and then? 
and then intentionally, intentionally, not ignorantly, you've seen it. You understand that people die. You see the, the the ones that made it out crying and sitting on a pavement because they they got so much smoke in their throat. You see them people crying over their loved ones and their mother's dead or their brother's dead or their sister's dead or their granny's dead. How do you, how do you, yeah, get with your friends, make this thing, actually what you make, you make this, this, this cardboard cutout of the Grenfell Tower and stuff like that. You make a bonfire. You're laughing and joking with all your friends here. Yeah? And you set a light and sit round chair, you know, laughing, drinking and like, enjoying it. People have all this technology, Wi-Fi, smartphones, you know, uh, fluent uh, bus transport systems and all this stuff. But they got no morals, man. And this is why man, mankind needs guidance, man. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in his last speech, when he knew he, he, he was going to die and pass away, he ga gathered all the Muslims together. He gathered them all together. And he said a speech. And one of the most important things about this speech is that he said, yeah, that white, um, that Arab has no superiority to non-Arab. And non-Arab, yeah, has no superiority to Arab, yeah. And white, yeah, has no superiority to black. And black has no superiority to white. And the reason why he said this, yeah, the reason why I said this is because in these societies, yeah, the dominant culture of Arabs and the dominant culture of lighter people and stuff were racist to the non-Arabs, yeah, and the lighter people were racist, yeah, to the darker people. So he intentionally started off the speech. He could have said black is not superior to, to, to white and white is not superior to uh, he, he could have started off and said that um, non-Arab isn't superior to Arab, yeah, and uh, uh, Arab isn't superior to non-Arab. And he could have started off by saying, you know, that black isn't superior to white and white isn't superior to black. But he didn't. He intentionally, yeah, because of the the revelation that he received from Allah the Creator, he said to th in that environment, because he knew the mindsets of the people, you know what I'm saying? And, he, uh, uh, and Allah knows how humans work. Yeah? He, he intentionally said that Arabs are not superior yeah, to non-Arabs. Because the non-Arabs were the ones that were treat, seen as inferior. And he, he intentionally said yeah, that white is not superior to black. And he gathered everyone together. So... Even in this in this day and age with your Wi-Fi and your, your smartphones and your widescreen TVs and your f fluent running transport and stuff, we're we'll still in need of the guidance of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because these people, yeah, they're living in the first world that are saying these racist statements. And I'm watching this, doing this reenactment. They're living in a first world, growing up in England, you know, and they're still coming out with these, 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 these concepts. Make this video go viral. These people need to lose lose their jobs. These people need. Everyone needs to know who they are. Their faces are never as clear. These people need be to, need to be fired today, because these people may not have hearts here, but they 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 they, they live off money. And they need to be made to realize that there's a consequence to your statements and your actions. So share this video. I'll make it get uh, viral. It's like some people have money, some people have a technology, but they don't have morals. And this is the moral of the story. They all want to take pictures of Nick, where's the ninja? I don't know what's the ninja. That is the problem. <laughs> <laughs>
Now get a stick. Get a stick. Get a stick. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>